So let me catch you guys up to speed on what happened overnight. Um, I collected this much sugar cane. I probably should have a full inventory, except a couple times my internet turned off, and I don't know for how long, it may have been a couple hours. But I think this will probably, hopefully, be enough. We're actually gonna definitely, I'm pretty sure, have to get some wood to be able to turn this amount of sugar cane into bookcases. So we're probably gonna have to hit up the tree farm again. Um, we had some visitors in the night. They weren't zombies, but I did see those comments on yesterday's episode. And actually, I, I did spend probably about eight of those hours AFK completely defenseless sitting right here. So zombies could have broken in and killed me, but luckily they didn't. And like clockwork, we got a few puppies that teleported us because I guess there was a thunderstorm. And I guess they do that every single time. There's a thunderstorm on Muse Farms, so it's pretty frustrating to have to deal with that. And you can see I tore this place up, actually, um, because I made this little cobblestone barrier right here to prevent zombies from killing me when I was AFK. So I ended up tearing most of this place up to get the cobble because I didn't have enough on me in my inventory chest right here. So we're just going to sort of wing the inventory for the moment. We do need to get the bread ready for a food break. Nom, 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 And, ooh, sugar cane. Um... And I think we can turn this thing off right about now. So it's no longer repeating, and then set it back up the way it was before. Where'd that button go? Did I... Did, did I really delete another button? Well, that sucks. Okay, well, we're gonna have to put the button back. Get these puppies to move back in position. Put that in place. Really no button in here? There's really no button. Okay. Well, I'll worry about that and these guys. Like, you know what? Let's see what happens when we bring three puppies with us. They are totally going to get in the way, and I don't... I'm, I'm not sure which puppies those are, by the way. Just be... You know, look at all. He's sticking his head through the door, and he's looking, his, his little eyes are all drooped down. So sad, he just wants to hang out. Well, teleport! Look, the other puppies are teleporting. You know what? If you not teleport, you're gonna miss out. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is turn the sugar cane into paper and then see how much wood it's gonna take to fill all of this up. And this is definitely gonna take a minute. I really do not appreciate how you keep pushing me further and further away from the bookshelf. Here, you guys sit. You know, I thought the three puppy thing, I might be able to... <laughs> I think that every time. I think maybe I can handle the puppy zombie! Oh no! Oh god, a zombie got loose in here. What other doors did he break down? Was it just that one? Uh, I guess it was just that one. Do I have any doors? I do luckily have a spare door sitting right here. Stupid zombies. Okay, finish making my books here. This is going to require... Just absolutely so much wood. <laughs> um, but luckily, because we were AFK for so long, our tree farm is doing probably fairly healthily, I imagine. So how much wood do we have right now? Um, we got a lot. Well, let's, let's grab everything we have and then just make what we can. Okay, so it took almost all the wood we have. We've got 39 whole planks left with two books to spare, but we were able to produce two and a half stacks of bookshelves. And I'm thinking that'll be enough, but I still don't like being this low on wood. So I'm going to clean my inventory here. There's that button. Sitting there, I'll remember to put that button back later. Clean my inventory out everything here and then I think I'll hit up some more chores because I'm running low on bread also and we could we could stand to have a few more monsters pop down in our tube here
Uh oh. That's a scary sound now. You're used to it for a while, but now that it means puppies might start teleporting, then that thunder becomes significantly more meaningful. It has bad repercussions. Oh well. Still need to get up that tree farm. It's not going to change much. I guess I could sleep because it's nighttime, but well, it looks like the sun's about to come up. Hopefully, it's not going to be too much of an issue here. Um, about blocks. Punch, 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 food break! Nom 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 nom. I know. Right, puppy? Right, yeah, I know. That was was fun, wasn't it? Put a mid-punch food break. We never have that. Um, so that's how much wood we got. We can move these guys over so we can throw that up there. And we're actually going to be using a lot of that because we're going to be immediately heading back down to the library and trying to figure out what we want to do with that place. So, first let's get rid of this iron... Iron Ignit, as Robez would say. Throw away the gunpowder and the beef jerky here. Like that. And then we can throw this button down because we're going to be hitting up the little little shack on the way. The collection shack and fixing that button. And the other materials that we're going to need. Um, we're going to be top floor. It's going to be a library. It looks sort of mystical. And I am taking someone's advice. Give me a second here. Let me figure out who... Um, the raw tones. I'm gonna have to remember to give them credit for that. Uh, who just said in encase some hieroglyphics in glass panes and then make them sit in wood bases? Um, I don't know if I'll do all of that, but I, I do think I'll try and do something with glass panes and hieroglyphics because I made a couple of those off camera, nine of them, as you can see. So I want to go grab my glass panes as well. Bottom right, yeah. Inventory full of glass panes and these things. I got wood and then. Let's try and stay away from the motif of the rest of the thing. Let's try and stay away from stone bricks and then see what we can do with some other materials here. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit of netherrack stuff. Um, I need a pickaxe too. Let's go ahead and take you, trade you two out. I'll just go ahead and repair that one at some point in the future with that one that's right there and what level am i still level nine those oh i guess there was only like four monsters in there um okay and then now what else can we do maybe take some soul sand i don't know why but it'll be nice to have like a dark brown color try and stay away from nether rat because it's kind of ugly looking and i don't think i'll end up using any of these but i definitely do have some stone in there already so i'm gonna need that and oh accident and then I guess that's it for now. Maybe some sort of color of wool? Maybe? I don't know. I'll take black, because I might end up using it with the darkness of the nether rack, or nether brick, but I don't think I'll end up really using a whole lot of any wool colors in there. I want to sort of keep the, the look of natural materials going in that place. And I just realized, you know what? The door that was knocked down by a zombie was that one, and not this one. And that is totally the door that I thought would be getting knocked down much more often. Okay. So, heading over to the library to start working on the second floor here. But I'll probably... Do I want to finish the first floor first? Mm. Mm. Oh, button. Put you in place. Bam. Now you're good to go. And I still want to actually do some work on the outside of this place too before I forget. Because this needs some wooden slabs, which I have on me. Yes! Totally remember that, even though I forgot to say something about it. So that's all in place, and it looks like there was an Enderman right there. That is annoying. Um, I don't have any gravel on me. I don't want to pop out any of these corners because they're all necessary. So I'll just have to do this. Right? No, 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 I don't like it.
It has to be gravel right here. Uh, oh, well, I'll worry about that once I get some gravel. And do I want to do anything special with this entranceway here? Let's, let's give ourselves some wood. And a full stack. And bring it down like that. So it's going to be some sort of double door situation, I believe. Yeah, we can work with that. And then you step inside here, and I'll take my bookshelves and then finish doing the pillars like we were doing before, before we ran out. And I'm just, I'm curious to see how much bookshelves this actually takes up, because I don't think we're going to have a whole lot on the second story, to be honest. Really just enough to build a decent en enchantment table. Sorry, I'm thinking about symmetry here once again. I'm kind of big on symmetry. If you've been watching this series for a while, I like things to be similar on multiple sides. So that needs to come down. Let's do this, because you're going to be floor anyway. Like that. There we go. And then right here, all this dastardly sand needs to GTF out of my way. There, 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 and is this the last one? This is going to be the last one. So, interesting. So we can start playing around with some some decent designs for the second story. Now that we have a whopping um, one and a half stacks, just about. But we can fill in our floor, at least temporarily, and see what we're going to work with. And you know what? I forgot. I'm going to end up tearing all of that stuff down, too, because it is no longer necessary. But I do want to see what the first story looks like once we get the roof in place and see if we want to keep it as just a flat roof or maybe we can find something interesting to do with it. What? I don't know, but that's that's why I want to go down and look at it, see if maybe there's some more we can do to this to make it look more more mystical at the bottom. Can't believe I forgot to bring my axe on me again. I knew I was going to be working with wood. <clears throat> I knew it, but I still just neglected. And I was holding the axe on me too when I was doing the tree farm. I had to actively put it away. That's so frustrating. Oh well. Um, I decided to make that the roof of this place. I don't know if I want to do that on all four sides or what, but it had this like... Because if you remember the way the water channels outside, it like went down at a slant. So it was like slanty little bits of sand here and there and it looked kind of ugly so I wanted to make it uniform with wood but I know that's going to affect what the outside looks like in some areas so we need to take a step back and see what this place looks like. Uh, right now this all looks pretty good actually as much as I wanted to do it on the second story I'm starting to think those hieroglyphics by the raw tones his suggestion might look better down here. Oop. Wood if you would please. So that's a half slab, right? Yeah, but it's a half slab in the correct spot. So if we do this, something like that, and then put some hieroglyphics right there, can I find a way to encase this and make it still look good? Um, Probably not at the first story, no, because this actually takes up a decent amount of space. It would look better if it was embedded in the wall, I think, rather than protruding like this. So, we need to get rid of all this, and I may actually, I think I do want to run back to the farmhouse and grab an axe, because I know I'm going to be working with a lot of wood. And I think while I'm there, I'm also going to snag a gravel, a couple doors, and you know what, I think we should do that whole third level out of wood. Because it'll look, f yeah, it'll look good once it's all set up, uh, and, and you know, uniform around the entire thing. So, alright, what did I say? Gravel, door, and... I should probably bring some normal glass blocks on me, just in case I end up using those for any reason. Hey, puppies! Hey, Wooly! Porkinator! Cluckenstein! How are you guys doing? It's been a while since you've been out of your cage, but it's it's so dangerous now. It seems like the monsters just love to run free, and you, Cluckenstein, you can jump right up here, I, th I think. Or is that a half? I don't know if chickens can do that. Um... So, right. Doors. Doors. Uh, one whole door. I guess I need to build another one. There we go. And then, gravel. 
and something else that I'm forgetting already. Axe, definitely my axe. See, this is what happens. I tell myself, I tell myself I was gonna bring an axe, and I almost forgot it, just for no reason. And I also said glass blocks, didn't I? Um, look at that inventory. It's looking kind of full. I think what I'm gonna do is take a chest with us, just a one chest, so that we can food break. Nom 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 nom. So that we can put unnes un like temporarily unusable items over there. Uh, glass, glass blocks. There we go, and our inventory is completely full. We actually don't need books on us, though, so we can throw those bad boys away. Anything else we don't need on us at the moment? Uh, it all looks relatively vital, except those two pieces of cobblestone, but I'm not going to worry about that, because I know we're going to be breaking down a lot more stone, so it's not worth the one inventory space if it's just going to be stacking with what's already there. And what should I do with the side of this place, too? Because this looks... Let's see, right here looks sort of bland compared to the front and back. We could put a little more work into that, but I guess we'll not worry about it right now. So, blam, sandstone. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's anything else we can do with this. It looks kind of, kind of, why don't we actually pickaxe and normal wood. I got an idea here, just so it blends a little better with the landscape. Do something like that. Yeah, I kind of like that, except let's put that back too. There we go. So now you go over here, step up here. We got our Zen Garden. Still want to put some plants and stuff around here, but I think I still want to fence off actually this entire area. Because usually, like, Zen Gardens have that secluded feel to them. Or maybe I should do bushes, sort of like hedges, like tall hedges around the entire thing. I kind of like the idea of that, because it sort of secludes us a little bit more. Okay. So what can we do to make this room more interesting? Anything? Um, the flat roof is kind of bland. We could make, I don't know, like chandeliers or something hang down from here. What if we did... Alright, these two are the center, correct? So something like that. And we could use that to light this place, I suppose. And then see if we no longer need the torches down on ground level. At least in this portion right here. We got some around back, right? No? No torches back here? We probably should have torches back here somewhere. Um, what if we lit this thing only from the roof? I'm okay with that. So we can go around, and hopefully I have enough torches to pull this off, and that'll add a little more personality to the inside of this library. Okay, now we no longer have torches on the ground. This place is lit from above, and I think it looks a lot classier this way. I do want to see if this changes anything, though. Like, does that sort of look like a lamp hanging down? I think it... I think it does. Um, let's, let's, let's try that. I might get used to it. Because um, it... I don't... To me... I, I don't know. I'm still, still halfway. It looks useless, but it also looks like a lamp. And did I put one on the very far side? No, I didn't. Okay, so, wow, that is totally not centered. Awesome, good job, me. Put this where it's supposed to be, tear these down. And I should probably check to see if the other ones are centered as well. Alright, all that's in place, and then you guys are good, right? Yeah. So there could be... You know, like a pillar or something we can stick up there? Ah, I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, looks like a lamp or something hanging down from the roof. It adds a lot more personality to the inside of this room. And now we can journey on to the second level. Which is all ugly and lit up by torches right now. Okay, first order of business is actually... Well, first order of business is going to be to throw this thing down. And get rid of a bunch of crap that we don't need because we're about to be collecting a lot of sand. What we do need, however, is a lot of wood, because we will be replacing that sand with wood. So, let's start by building some sort of ladder up here. There we go, and then I need to go around this entire thing and replace this whole top level with wood. After that, I th I'm thinking about doing something, because we cannot have a perfectly centered enchantment table right here. But what we could do is have two different enchantment tables for no good reason whatsoever other than looks, 
and then have something like do I not have my, my half slabs on me? Something like half slabs going up right here, so that they are actually at the, the the third story. But we have this this two wide layer of half slabs that goes up, and then it's sort of pushed against the wall. And then we can do something like maybe use some water or lava flow down here on the sides, and then embed it in some glass or something and make just this whole area look a lot more interesting than it does right now. But we'll get around to that tomorrow. I got a whole bunch of busy work ahead of me here. And actually, I'm going to be taking uh, probably, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to take a couple days off or not. My schedule for uploading these is kind of strange right now. Um, a lot of personal life is getting in the way, so... I know we're, we're coming up on the end of the series here. I've only really, after we finish this room, this is the last room that has to be built before we build the blaze rod grinder, and we're likely going to knock the blaze rod grinder out in one episode. Uh, but just to keep you guys updated on what's to come, I do still plan on having one more series after this. It'll be more akin to Quest for the Golden Apple than Muse Farms, which is going to be... Um, Essentially, the, the journey to find a fortress and kill the end dragon. And then, after that, it's still up in the air. And for those of you who are also curious, I do plan on getting another channel up with different different Let's Plays. But I swore to myself and all of you guys, all my fans, that I would just leave this channel pure uh, and only only vanilla Minecraft. Because that's... That's, that's what I said I would do when I started, and I don't plan on changing that for any reason. So I'm going to start a new channel with different games, and it's going to be after July, because I'm going to Europe in June for a very long time. Uh, 25 days. So I'll probably set up some videos to record while I'm gone, but I'm actually going to be away from my computer for quite a long time. And actually, I, wow, actually pretty, pretty much finish doing all this. Just gotta fill all this in. I didn't expect to be talking for that long. Uh, but that's about it. I still want to leave right here. Don't forget the art contest is still going on for... I don't know how many more days. It ends on the, the last day of the month at midnight is the last day to submit your work. Uh, we've got quite a few submissions so far. Uh, I'd say somewhere in the realm of two to three hundred and you can visit them by clicking on the link on my website. It's right on the home page at www.theminecraftmuse.com. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget the prize, in case you were not familiar, is a gift code for either Skyrim, Max Payne 3, or Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. I think that's about it. So yeah, pretty much finished this whole thing up while I was catching you guys up on news. Anyways, um, I will end it here, and I will talk to you guys later this week.